going to quote John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's the key word, believe it. And see, a lot of people who want to continue to, to be in sin, oh, well, the Lord loves me. Yeah, the Lord loves you. But at the same time, uh, you're going to keep on violating God's word just because you believe that God still loves you in the sin that you're in. God don't want you to continue in sin. He wants you to turn away from that sin or you're going to defile that relationship. And then uh, let's see, we can go to Isaiah 59 and 2. And it says, but your sins, your iniquities have separated between you and your God and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongues have muttered perverseness. None call for justice nor any plea for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. But yet at the same time, every, you feel with all of this, but at the same time, you want the Lord to continue to stay in a tainted relationship. That Lord can love you, but that don't mean that God is going <clears> to <throat> open itself up to you if you want to continue to be a sinner. So, I mean, it's really no different than you being married. And if you marry, you in a relationship. And that's the only way it seems like people really listen because you got to refer to something like that because everybody want to be married. Good God, you there ain't no single people these days that are content. It seems like it. But, in, I mean, if you're married to somebody, do you expect for your husband to cheat on you? Do you expect for your wife to cheat on you? Absolutely not. Because you are supposed to actually be bad at that marriage. You're supposed to become one once you become married. And you're supposed to actually not cheat. On each other. That's for sure. I mean, so how's it any different with God? <laughs> Would you stay in a relationship if a man cheating on you? Would you stay in a relationship if a woman cheating on you? Absolutely not because they are dishonoring your vows. They are dishonoring y'all relationship. How's it any different? That person can still love you, but at the same time, they're going to get tired of you treating them any kind of way. How's it any different with God? If you continue to sin, it's like you have no, you are not honoring God. And you expect for God to be there for you every time you turn around, every time something go wrong because you dishonoring him. You're sinning every five minutes and you're not doing anything. You're doing something that is actually incompatible with the word, but you, you want God to be there for you every five minutes. Well, then you need to stop. You need to actually stop sinning, turn from your sin so God can then reestablish their relationship with you and then God will start listening to you. you know, and then y'all cry about God not being there but then it's, it, we can also go into the word. And Malachi, let's see, we can go to Malachi uh, 1 and 6 and it says, a son honor his father and a servant his master. If then I be a father where is my honor? So you dishonor God. So why are you expecting for God to be there for you every five minutes of every time you turn around you dishonoring him? So y'all need to turn from the sin, turn from the sin, and then maybe God will start working out situations in your life. So well, y'all have a good day.